Ayo! What's going on, guys? This is Rogue! 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 Back with the radio show! WNNJ on the radio! Uh, we're playing Fireteam Paradox. No, we're not. We're actually playing Mastery Collection. Uh, we're gonna try to get through 343 three Guilty Spark as fast as possible. Uh, technically, we're doing this in the Master Chief Saga playlist so we can get that Chivo. But technically, we're not. As you can see, it is only uh, it's only a regular mission because uh, it, it it's been a very big gap from this episode and assault on the Contrub, and also much better, much much better editing, I might add, because uh, I'm so awesome, of course. So you actually won't be seeing a lot of me. Uh, I'll try to record as much as possible. I hear a weird noise. All right, whatever. It's not in the game, so it doesn't exist. Okay, so this is the sixth level of I bumped into a tree. Yes, this is uh, the game called I bumped into a tree. I might take fall damage there. God, I cannot get the title out today. Halo CE six mission uh, three four three guilty spark. This is where you meet the guilty spark in the three four three warehouse. This is the warehouse. It's a warehouse. Uh, but anyways, I'm not gonna go over story or anything like that because I assume you since you're watching this You definitely played Halo CE activate the lift, please. Thank you very much, sir So we just bypassed all of those enemies there. I'm not gonna spin just to not give you seizure and I wow, I should probably turn my mic volumes down cuz wow that There we go, okay much, much better. Now let's kill everything in sight, because everything must die. So now, let me go on my little tangent where I have to explain. Uh, whoa, why didn't we see you in the last few months except for Halo Friday or whatever? Uh, so, just to clarify, I have no idea when this is going up. Probably Tuesday after I'm recording it, but hey, at this point, you guys know more than I do. Because at this point, I'm recording it and you guys are watching it. What? That's like some Inception stuff right there. But, yeah, a lot of stuff has been going on in the Fighting Paradox Fund. If you watch Rage's uh, LEGO Star Wars video uh, that is uploading while I speak, but you've probably already seen it since it's up. Also, I might be going the wrong way because I cannot talk and walk at the same time. Yep, this is, this is the wrong way. No, this is the right way. I'm super correct because I'm the boss. Actually, I am the boss of Fire Team Better. All right, getting on track though. We have to get on track. All right, you know that Marine gets to live. Who cares? Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on. A rage kind of like over exaggerated. He's like, "Oh, we're working on a lot. We're working on like one main thing, and then like a couple other small things." Uh, which I'm not going to talk about right now, of course, uh, because I know it won't be out when this goes up. Uh, it's mainly been focusing on, um, like, when it goes up is mainly dependent on when the other members of Fights and Paradox are able to do their part in this project. Um, but I, th I think it's going to turn out pretty well. But here's a cutscene that takes, like, hours, so... I, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I've been doing this, I've been staying quiet for most of the cutscenes, so that's what I'm gonna do. Right now. I should probably mention, if you want to listen, keep listening to my awesome commentary with gameplay, I suggest just skipping maybe 30 seconds ahead, 
because this thing lasts a while. And for those of you who actually want to watch this, that's why I'm staying quiet. Why do we always have to listen to this old stuff, Sarge? Watch your mouth, son. This stuff is your history. It should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, does the Covenant want to wipe out this particular part of my history? That's fine by me. He's yeah, better it than us. You ask them real nice next time you see him, Vicente. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. LZ looks clear. I'm bringing us down. Go, go, go! Stay close, Jenkins! Mendoza! Move it up! Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside. Sir! Okay, let's move! Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident, you know, friendly fire or something. What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? Nah, we just met. Right, well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir. But it looks like these Covenant worked pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. What's going on, soldier? So thank you for watching half the movie that is Halo CE. Just kidding, the video isn't even closed over. <laughs> yes, you have to sit through another several minutes with me. The dashing, dashing room. I don't know why I threw a grenade there. It's on normal. There was no, absolutely no point in that. I suggest taking out the flood. Yes, they're called the flood. I guess that's the flood. I mean, you know, you gotta add some imagination to this kind of stuff. Uh, you take out the flood with the assault rifle. Uh, any automatic weapon will do. Actually, any weapon will do. But highly recommend the assault rifle. Or your fist. That also works. Depends on the difficulty. 
can also like give it little, little like burstings, burstings. So going back to what I said about fire time power out. Uh, I don't remember where I was at. I was talking about Rage's Rahe's Let's Fly, and I was talking about some other crap. But uh oh, the suspenseful music has kicked in, and stuff is happening. And now we meet the bigger flood, uh, flood mommy and daddy. Actually, well, these are uh, the daddies, I guess. Yeah, let's go with that. These are the flood daddies, and we will soon meet the flood mommies. And they will, they're all one big happy family. Also, you cannot melee the flood in this game. It's, uh, you can only melee them in Halo 3, which is freaking awesome uh, in Halo 3. But it's also gory as hell. Uh, I've said this several times before, but I'm going to try to get Mr. Dara in here for Halo 3 and maybe Halo 2. Oh, I thought this bridge went out, so that's why I just kind of like stopped like a schmuck. Think I can beat this open? No, I cannot. All right, man, I really do not remember that much about Halo CE. Everything's gonna get like a lot more interesting once I hit Halo 2. Because it's like, Halo CE is like very, like, I don't know, it just feels like very linear in the sense that, you know, it's like, go through these corridors and then get a cutscene and then die, but you didn't actually die. <laughs> and then like, other stuff happens with the things. Also, jumping sucks, fall damage is terrible. And uh, I love Halo CE because you can definitely see that by me praising the game right now. I'd give it a, uh, what was that, what's that stupid, um, movie rating site? It was tomato something, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I got the shotgun! My favorite weapon all Halo, because it's the best weapon! Woohoo! Shout out to Sarge from Red vs. Blue, uses the shotgun, also so does York, but, uh, I mean, he doesn't anymore. Uh, also, something that's great, if you have, alright, for some reason it's impressed, if you have the Xbox Smart Glass app on your iPhone device, or just phone, the, your mobile device, yes, yes, that's what I was going for, uh, if you have Smart Glass, it will notify you when your, uh, when your favorites are online. I believe it, you could also do others, but I turned, like, regular friends off for that. Uh, but as you see, you cannot, you didn't see anyone come online. It's like, what, Rogue? What are you talking about? You cray cray, Rogue. You cray cray. Um, I'm actually not. I turned off notifications before recording this just to make it look like 2% more professional. You schmuck. Yeah, how do you like that? I just called you a schmuck. Well, at least you aren't a flood. The flood, well, actually, no, because flood's got a pretty awesome name. Where do I go? There it is. It's like, the plot is convenient to me. It's like, I have no idea where I'm going. There it is. Oh, thank you, uh, plot device that somehow helped me. Even though there was no plot device in it whatsoever. But Rogue, what are you talking about? Your plot device is your voice and your moving and your controller and the cutscenes. It's like, why? Why? Where are you coming from? You don't even know what a video game is. Why are you even talking right now? Well, the point is, I have no idea if you are. You could be yelling at your screen saying, This dude, Rogue, he's a pretty cool guy. Or he's a sh... He's a faff and ming and ming. Those are British words for British words. Uh, look it up in the dictionary. If you search up, like, minging and fanging and whatever stupid made-up words there are. You'll see uh, British words in the dictionary. Like, it'll just say British words. Actually, it's probably, like, well, I know it's, like, British slang. British slang. I usually, uh, say a lot of British slang just to kind of avoid cursing in a lot of conversation. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> uh, cursing, pretty solid, but, I mean... You know, you gotta, you gotta mix it up sometimes. Don't, don't be rage and just sit there and half the words he says are like, Okay, next you go through this fucking room and then, uh, you, you, you fuck the princess. And then 
you saved the toad. I, I, what video game would you... I, actually, I just probably described the plot to every single Mario game ever. Besides Dance Dance Revolution Remix or whatever the hell that's called. But I mean... And that, that, like, that was accidentally describing. I'm like, uh, what is... What do a lot of video games or like a lot of cliche plots have? Princesses. Uh, we'll throw in a toad there for fairy tale sake. And then you got yourself a million dollar movie. Wait, one million dollars? That sounds a lot for a movie. Ten million dollars? That's, uh, I mean, I have no idea. I don't, I don't watch a lot of movies. Actually, I watch a decent amount of movies. I, I mean, I don't like go to theaters that much. I think the last time I went to a theater was like 80 years ago. So, Roe confirmed to be uh, 74 years old, even though he just said 80 years ago. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what's called a plot hole. Even though this is not a story, this is just Rogue's story. Yes, I said story twice on purpose. Maybe, maybe not. I have no idea what I'm talking about, by the way. I'm literally just rambling on, because we are nearing the end of the mission here. Uh, which, I mean, kind of sucks in the fact that I, like... There was like a five minute cutscene that took up like a beef of this video. Great way to return, by the way. It's like, all right, yeah, let's do a video. But first, watch this five minute cutscene of just bugger all piss of Jenkins not knowing how to hold a gun. It's like, seriously, Jenkins, shoot the damn flood. You would have probably survived if you were actually holding a weapon. It's like, I know it's a video feed and everything, but uh, come on. you If you could have Master Chief in first person shooting shit, you could clearly have a video of a marine shooting bollocks. Which, uh, if you don't know, bollocks means <laughs> testicles. Oh, I did it. Uh, I can't change the anniversary, so you're going to have to watch this in crap graphics. Meet 343 Industries, guys. Someone has released the flood. The flood, sir. It's the flood. Oh, do you now? Which, well, he just said come this way and then he just teleported me. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Come with me! Oh, wait, nope, just stand right where you are. I'll, uh, I'll just teleport you. I like how he did two different voices for that. But that is the end of the mission. Captain at 1114 definitely beat the part time in that one. Not gonna get the achievement pop for two reasons. One, notifications are off. And two, I already got that achievement like 18 months ago. Even though the Master Collection is only like a year old, not even. So I'd like to thank you all and welcome you back to Rogue Plays Halo the Master Chief Collection Master Chief Saga Playlist Part 74 or whatever bullshit. This has been Rogue and I am out.